All right, I'm on hole number three of the Americana Classic I'm in the weekend round of the Ricky Division, and I we really need to, I really need to get an albatross on this hole. Um, I need to fire it off on the front nine, and I need to get myself up in that area up there and really get an alby here. So hold on one second. All right, I'm back. I went and watched my old video on this just to see how much overpower I put on it. And what I've been trying to do is just get it out there and not really have to do the overpower. And I've been ending up in this area, and that's a short iron in, but it's max short iron. And if you can get just even in your mid short iron range, the, the accuracy is so much better. It's 75% more accurate when you get it into that range. So my goal is going to have to be to try and get it into the mid, mid number. And with what I'm seeing in brackets, not knowing what I have in mind, I think I'm really going to go for it on this hole and try and get far forward. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just have to get on from wherever I'm at. But I'm definitely going to want to take an extra mile, the Kingmaker. Trying to get around a curve, so we need as much curl as we can. The more more side spin, the more side spin you get on a ball, the better. I've got a Hornet. Those are my. That's my go-to lower clubs. My usual suspects. If you're playing a Ricky account, and you just want to be a casual player. You want to have fun. You want to just go out and do the thing. You don't want to have to, you still, you know, you can spend a little bit of money on this game, but you don't have to spend as much money when you're playing. If you're just playing like tour eight and below and you can just be a pretty casual player. But the reason to play a lot of tour seven is to open up. There's a few clubs at tour seven that are definitely worth having in your bag. I mean, if you're just playing rookie stuff, then apocalypse, unless you get it maxed out, it's not really going to do you, you know, you could, you can get it up to like level four or five, but getting it higher than that, you really are going to have to start playing, going for a higher trophy count, playing higher tours. But if you're just a casual player at the bottom, if you have a Spitfire and a Nirvana, you know, those are the Tour 7 clubs, especially the Spitfire which is arguably the best epic in the game. I would argue that it is the best epic in the game. All right. Let's try and get as much as we can. We'll balance that out. It's going to get... So a max overpower shot, I'd be right there. And it's going to go too far forward. So if I hit a grate to the left or the right, I should be fine. And there's max curl and there's max overpower. And I hit a great on the left, which is bad. That puts me towards the sand on that peninsula. I've been hitting a great to the right all week. And I might get lucky and bounce over it. I did. So I'm still in my short iron range. Probably going to be more towards my max number. And I may have to move it just a little bit from the going to the right back to the left just because of these tree these tree limbs right here I might be just clipping those tree limbs so I might have to set it up set my shot up a little more to the right and put some side spin on it usually when I'm coming in at a hole like this for these types of short iron shots the key is that if you don't have to use any side spin and you don't have to use any curl and you, all you're doing is a little bit of normally those shots are like one to maybe two and a half, three backspin. Very seldom do I take the short iron shot where I actually put on topspin on it. It's usually a one backspin and set the ball straight up to the hole. But I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to be in my max club here. My max club's 1.1 per ring, and that tree is going to be right in the way. So I'm right at max. And I'm going to do. That's where I'm at. I'm going to put all the backspin on it. And put a little bit of side spin and just make it go towards the hole. 
three one. It's about three rings. Got to hit it perfect. And hit it great to the right. Sometimes when I snap that one shot off, one roll, I can catch it perfect right there. And I knew I was running out of time. And I just missed it. That's unfortunate. Dang. That was an awesome look at Albie right there. I didn't quite give myself enough time. I've been trying to hit on the fourth time by. I normally hit from the right, from the left to the right, but I've been trying to get on a perfect rhythm. That was disappointing. A perfect right there would have been in the hole. That's what I'm talking about. If you watched the first video in this weekend round, the, the scores that we're seeing out there, just talking about the scores. I mean, that's the thing is if you hit the shot to the green, there's 18 of those shots in the thing in the tournament in each round. You hit eight those 18 shots perfect. And if you set them up, you're going to make a lot of shots. So if you're on a perfect streak that day and you're just like the ball wants to snap to perfect. And if you've played this game in any, any length of time, you've had those days where it's like you thought, oh, no, and then it snapped to perfect. It's like, no, no, you really wanted that to be perfect, didn't you? <laughs> if you're on one of those days, you are going to be on fire. All right, that was hole number three of the Americana Classic in the, in the weekend round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.